here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Whoa! Oh, straight right. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Left hand punch with the clinch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well, missed on that one. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Punch over the top. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Just missed with the left there. Head kick. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. That hurts to watch another leg kick lands flush, really causing a lot of damage to those legs of his opponent. Yeah, he's doing a great job of landing the leg kicks for the opponent. He needs to start trying to relax. Relaxation allows you to check kicks. If you're tense, if you're biting on feints, if you're biting on the guy that's throwing jabs up at your head, you're not going to check it. Relax. They recognize who's coming in your direction. Ooh, what a punch. The 30-second mark in our opening round. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ten seconds to go. Punch coming and blocked. What a punch. 
and let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Second round underway. Beautiful strike. Big head kick lands. Mercier's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice. Nice. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs. Oh, nice job by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Close guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your first dig and kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Great punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Now, sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Pretty good right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, nice job 
to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Another shot lands upstairs. And they separate. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready? Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with that right hand. Kick there by Obama Mercier. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Barely missed on an uppercut right here in the inside. Beautiful punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is wow. a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Tags him with the left. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Choi. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Back to the feet now. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, a single collar tie there. Knee to the body. And they separate. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Big knee! He needs to start looking to finish.
finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, Bon Mercier's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh! Oh! He's a He's hurt bad. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and really starting to make these shots count. what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Misses with the right hand. Oh, nice move. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Big leg kick lands. Got the single collar tied. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Joy gets caught with that punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice left hand there on the inside. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Able to check that kick as well. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good lesson for him. He misses with it there. Nice. All right, let's... Oh, he's hurt. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, Bob Mercier's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, Bon Mercier's back in half guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. And 
and he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous Whoa! rounds. Oh, he's hurt. He's gone. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right